Hi, this is AJ9BM. Uh, for Christmas, I got my parents some new uh, handheld radios and the technician study guide. They go RVing places where there isn't cell phone coverage, and I wanted to make sure that they had a way to communicate with the outside world. Uh, my dad also is an old CB operator from back in the day, and since I've been talking about ham radio stuff, he's been kind of excited. So I wanted to get him uh, started on that. And then I got my mom a radio so she could talk to him. So they're new to all of this. They don't know how to find repeaters and how to program this radio. I got them some Baofeng UV5Rs, which are kind of weird menus. Um, so I'm making them this movie to show them how to find repeaters online and then how to program those repeaters into their handhelds and then how to test that they actually work. So we're going to start off by finding repeaters where they're going to be. So we're going to do this by finding stuff around my house. So we go to Google and type in repeater map. And it gives us this K5EHX's site. And this is great. The UI is a little bit weird. We're just going to ignore all this stuff over here. Because what we can do is go over here. And anywhere we click on the map, it'll let us see repeaters covering that point. Of course, that's not really useful when you're zoomed all the way out like this. But this is just Google Maps. So you can zoom in a bunch and then scroll around. And here I am in San Francisco at home. So I say, show nearby repeaters covering this point. And it, it gives me a few. <laughs> so I need to zoom in a bit more to get to something that I can actually see. OK, here we go. So now I can see there's repeaters all around town at different frequencies. So we'll start with this one here, at 442.075. It's got a plus right here, which means the offset is up uh, from the output. Uh, output frequency. So if I transmit on a frequency the somewhere above this one, it'll come out on this frequency elsewhere. So let's go ahead and go to that on the radio and see if it's there. So if I turn this radio on, I'll turn it back off actually. You just no. Give this a second to see if anybody's there. Doesn't sound like it. So we'll go ahead and put in the other settings we need to do this. So there's that plus sign. Um, so we need to set this thing up for a positive offset, which is menu setting 26 on here. So we hit menu, and then you can also just scroll around looking for offset. And we hit menu to change it. And since this is UHF, it's 5 megahertz. So 05000 is the offset that we want. And we hit menu again to save that. And we also need to set the offset direction. So this is shift to direction, which is in this menu as well, uh, right there. So we want it to be positive to match what's over there. Save that. And now we need the 100 PL part of that, this number right here. And that is the CTCS um, tone, which is in here somewhere. So we want this to be 100. So we can just type in 100 O or there's only so many of these things, so we can just scroll to it in this list. And we hit menu save. Now we're back. We're at 442.075 with a plus right there, which tells us that we're going to go out to, uh, oop, yeah. Sorry, this is on the B VFO um, plus. So this radio has two frequencies available, A and B. And so now I'm on the one on the top. You can see that little arrow right there. And I'm on the bottom. On the top. On the bottom. You can listen to both frequencies and transmit on both. It's kind of handy. Um, so anyway, so we're, we're at 442.075 with a positive offset. 
So if we key this up for two seconds, the repeater uh, will see that somebody's trying to talk to it with a 100 hertz tone and open up. And if we don't say anything and just let go, we'll get signal coming back to ourselves. So what we expect to do is we're going to hit transmit, but not say anything. And this light should come on. And then we're going to let go. This is a thing called courtesy tone. And if we get that light to go green after we've transmitted with it sending back static and maybe a little beep, we know we're in a good place. So. That's a really nice courtesy tone. <laughs> so that's that repeater. So by just keying it up and then letting go, um, the repeater is a little bit smart and knows that it should tell me that I got in. This is me testing my settings. So you can do that with any repeater that you find on this website. So let's try another one here. Let's try, uh, I don't know what this one is. Oh, this is um, the local club frequency. Oh, I do actually. We'll put this one in on A. So it's 147, 21. One, four, seven, two, one, zero. And actually, I don't know what the offset is here. So if I click on this, give me more stuff. So okay, so the offset frequency here is 0.6 megahertz. That's over there in that table on the left. And the shift is positive, and the PL is 100. So. We want to set a tone of 100, and we're going to go to the menu item 25, set our shift, plus, and set our, okay, our offset's already set to 00600, so, now this one we should be able to do this. This might not be an open repeater. Don't hear anybody on there. Let's switch back to the other one. Um, so now we're, if we transmit, we're transmitting for this repeater with the offset and everything. And what's really cool is this thing remembers the different settings for the two different sides. So that's how you set up uh, a repeater on here. So we're gonna work one more example. This is a review. We're going to change where we're at to where it is that my parents actually want to use these things. So, they're going to be camping out here ish, right around there. So, we look for repeaters covering that spot. And there's a handful of them. Maybe zooming in a little bit will help. It's kind of a mess, but they're there. So, this one is that's where the repeater's at right there. And this circle shows how far out it goes. So this one's, you're kind of in the middle of the, the circle for it. Whereas this one down in Carbondale, this 442.0250 here, this purple circle, you're right on the edge. So it, it probably won't work reliably. So you wouldn't want to use this one unless you really needed to. So let's look at this one. Oh, look, this one has no PL. So Let's double check that it doesn't have anything else. Nope. So yeah, no PL and no DCS. So uh, it also doesn't have a real good coverage footprint. So this is an advanced view that shows you how strong the signal is. Um, and this green is so-so. Maybe there's a better one to use while you're camping down at the lake. Actually, this one's right there. This one looks great. So this 146.8005 minus is there. So it's got a shift to the, to the negative, and the offset frequency is 0 0.6, with a tone lock of 88. So, main frequency is 146. 146, 8, 0, 5. And then, menu. the offset, offset frequency. is 6, and the offset direction is minus. 